Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Scorpio. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising your Venus placements in Scorpio, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are closed. Keep that in mind. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. So we have the five of wands in reverse. We have the hanged man in reverse, Pisces energy. Okay, we have the nine of swords. We have the 10 of wands in reverse. Clarify the five of wands in reverse. Six of cups. Hmm. I feel like somebody wants to, this is like reconciliation energy to me. I feel like somebody wants to put the past in the past. I feel like somebody wants to squash the beefs over something that happened in the past, or this is somebody that wants to reunite with you. Like they want to end, end a conflict. They don't want there to be conflict between the two of you anymore. Make peace. Say about the hanged man in reverse, the high priestess in reverse. Somebody was not listening to their own inner guidance and it was causing stagnation here. Or somebody was not wanting to come to terms with the reality of a situation, doubting something, doubting themselves. I feel like somebody also, there's maybe, there may have, may have been a disconnect here. Tell me about the nine of swords. Somebody was like really stressed over a situation, but um, with the, the three or really like upset over something here in despair. But it's like with the three of swords right reverse, someone's starting to heal. Yeah, someone's starting to heal. Self-forgiveness, forgiveness of another person. How about the ten of wands in reverse? Mm. Somebody maybe told you that they they um they released something. They put an end to something. They've set boundaries somewhere. But with the Page of Swords in reverse, you guys could either be skeptical or you feel like, yeah, you feel like that you're skeptical or this person is really not. They're, they're all talking. No, or maybe they're going to tell you, they're telling you they're going to do this. And you guys are skeptical about this. You feel like they're, they're all talk, no action. Yeah, Two of Swords in reverse on the back of the deck. I definitely feel like you may be hearing from somebody. Um, yeah, definitely got to be hearing from somebody, somebody that, yeah, somebody that you had a bad, you've been healing from this person. So is this one of those situations where you're starting to heal and move on and recover from somebody and now they feel like they've missed an opportunity. Now they want to reach. Yeah. Now they're feeling sad and down and it's like, mm, I don't know y'all. Let's see. We have heavy Pisces energy here. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here too. Mm, what should I see? What's going on here? What should I use? What should I use? Let's see. Here, give me four cards and to tell me what the situation is. Sum this situation up in four cards, Spirit. Money is tight. Oh, here we go. Phone call. Uh-oh. Unrequited. Ooh. Going in circles. What? 
Um, I see somebody reaching out to you. Yeah, but with the page of swords reverse, this person hasn't changed. Unrequited. You may not, this person may want to try to talk to you and make something right with you, but you may not want to make this right with this person. And like, I hope that this person isn't coming towards you because of their finance, they're having financial issues. Somebody feels like it's hard to stay away from you. Why is money as tight here? Toxic. Yeah, not good for you. This person's in like a very, like a lack energy. Yeah, they don't value you. Mm. Yeah. They haven't changed. So why are they, why are they reaching out to my Scorpios? Sex. Wow. All right. Here we go with this shit. I feel like this may be difficult for you guys to say no to this person, but I don't feel like you're interested in what this person is. You know, they don't have anything to offer you. Money is tight, toxic, low vibrational, going in circles. You guys keep just repeating the same. So it's like you kind of can almost predict like this person, this, this person's um, acting right on, on character. Um, tell me about unrequited. Uh, yeah. Habitual liar. Maybe what are they lying about? What are they lying about? Be See, they don't have good intentions. What does unrequited mean for Scorpio? Secrets. Yeah. You feel like things are one-sided here or like it's almost like this energy where you do love this person or you do care about them, but that's just not enough for you anymore. Like, because when you were just bank, you know, you were, when you were just like, well, I love this person. I'm going to try to make it work with them. That probably bit you in the ass. Right. So I feel like you guys are like also looking at other aspects. Like, is it, has this person grown? Have they evolved? Are they more mature? Do they have their money together? What do they have to offer me? Like, and if they don't have any of those things to offer you, you're like not interested. That's what I'm getting from this. It's just like, that's just not enough for you anymore is what I'm getting from this. And like, they are kind of coming towards you with lustful desires or just, if it's not even just that, it's like, they're, they're confused. They don't even know if it's love that they feel for you or lust, right? When you may be, you may be sure of your feelings for this person. They're not sure. All right. So I do feel like they're not coming towards you with the best intentions. And I do feel like you feel like you need to maybe ignore this person or you feel like there's like yet more things that are yet to be revealed to you about this person, like secrets to keep things that they were keeping hidden from you. But what, however they're approaching you, you feel like there's like mega red flags here. Okay. Lies and secrets. You feel like you need to protect yourself from this person now. All right. We have soulmates. So you guys do have a soul connection with them. And it's like, yeah. Hmm. And let's do one more. Anything else that they need to know from this deck, Spirit? Anything else that they need to know from this deck? So Spirit says you know what to do. It's like, didn't I just say, you're, did I say you're accepting something for what it is? Yeah, it's like you're kind of getting, you're finally getting out of your head about something here. I feel like this was like really painful for you. And it, it was like really hard for you to see this person or see their intentions for what, like you didn't want to have to like come to terms with the fact that maybe this person was just using you for sex or they didn't feel the same way about you as you felt about them or that they just couldn't give you what you deserved. And I feel like you guys are maybe in denial about that to some degree for a while. And it was kind of like keeping things blocked or like you were avoiding having to like completely let this person go. Like you were like trying to, you were ignoring what your intuition was telling you about this person. But I feel like now you're finally accepting it. You're accepting what your intuition has been trying to tell you about this person and you're getting on the right track. You're aligning more with your purpose, okay? So yeah, I don't know, girl. I just feel like this person... Yeah. So what else do they need to know about this situation, Spirit? It's like you're accepting something that was very difficult for you to accept. That this person is just has been using you. You know what I mean? They don't really have anything to offer you. There there may be some feelings there. Um, with the six of cups, like they do feel like nostalgic. They do feel like you guys had some good memories. They do feel like, you know, they miss you, right? They do feel a soul. There is a soul connection here, right? But mm, tell me more about what's going on between these two people. So we have solitude. Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better instead of more solid foundation. I feel like this is actually something that they need to do. All right. Like this person needs to work on 
getting have it forming a better relationship with themselves and setting a more solid foundation in their their own life before they can ever build a foundation with you or anyone else all right tell me more battle of the wits until both so maybe you and this person both struggle with being vulnerable and letting your guards down so it says until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable this love will continue to be a battle we have on a pedestal this person doesn't feel like they're good enough for you you're per you're queen you're the queen of their heart so they do love you like you're the like they they're you're the only one that they really want the queen of their fiercely guarded castle it's only fear that makes them run so the, this connection scares them tell me more yeah endings and sexual union see there's something here about like th this has been like if you haven't been in a se sexual connection with this person this is probably not your reading all right it says sexual union is their your how do i say that it says their greatest sex memory is with you but it's more than okay so it says it's more than just sex it's their memory of feeling so close to you so i feel like this person does like of course they like sleeping with you but 11 11 on the camera they there's something it's it is deeper than that so if you guys were confused about that they, they do feel something deeper than you like they're just it's not just them using you they are using you and like the, or they're like taking more from you than they're giving let's put it that way but we have endings here they entered your life to test you teach you and bring out the very best in you so it's like this person came to help you like evolve and grow and ascend and spirit is saying that you guys have finally maybe started to ascend or like it has served its purpose i don't know if this so is this just something that's going to stay an ending or so it says now their part in your story is over but we have unseen factors maybe you guys think it's over there's more to see spirit says there's more to this love story though you cannot see it now there's still much more to unfold so this is not over but i don't know why they had that card so there's going to be some type of ending between you and this person the fight so like you may have ended things with this person you kind of maybe got to the point where you thought like maybe this was just not somebody you were supposed to be with that it was over and done with but it's like what you don't know is that if you ended things with this person or like this ending it's almost like an ending of a cycle and it's it's no coincidence that this came out with sexual union like it's like an ending of a cycle of just like things being like very surface level and like um how do i say that like it's like if things have just been kind of like purely sexual or like very surface level with this person up until this point this ending that's about to happen give me more clarity on this ending that is occurring between these two people spirit lack of yeah it's like somebody thinks this is done i don't know if this is you or them but it says leaving you out in the cold oh yeah leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets re regrets which has made them lose hope in the situation so it's like they think that you're just like done with them they know that they didn't give you what you deserved like they know that yeah they know that but it's like something is changing here because this person all of a sudden is going to want to fight for you it says their inner warrior is being activated they're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love why dreams they've been dreaming so much about you and want to manifest their dreams into reality so it could have been because of some type of dream that they had about you what's making them want to fight for um scorpio what's making them want to fight for scorpio overflow wow their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them yeah because their love for you has no end so they're realizing that like there is no end there is no ending to this hmm tell me more what's making this person gearing up they're gearing up to fight for scorpio justice they're trying to do right the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration yeah they can't stay away from you insatiable they have an insatiable thirst that thirst that no one else but you can satisfy craving for you more and more so it's like they're feeling like their their desire for you is increasing even if you guys are apart their desire for you is increasing it says we are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden yeah this person just knows that they can't come towards you or manipulate you or uh, they, they, you're not going to settle for what you settled for before like so yeah I still need to get clarity on this this ending though what does this ending mean for this connection what does this ending mean for this connection oh dark side they have a dark side that no one knows and feel it's their true side but too afraid to show you so what's that have to do with an ending the unknown the unknown scares them they see the abundance you bring into their life but they fear being wrong yeah they thought you were too good to be true so what does that have to do with an ending 
telepathy. So things are, yeah, now is the time your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. Someone's getting a new perspective. This player, they may be closing out a cycle of being a player. It's like, it's almost like you're bringing out the best in them. Like you're, hel like you're helping them grow and ascend past this player energy, this player lifestyle. And it's like getting to the point since they met you where that doesn't even satisfy them anymore. It doesn't look, that's, it's not enticing to them anymore. And um, it's like one chapter is closing and another one is starting here. What, what does the ending mean specifically for Scorpio? What does the ending mean specifically? What does Scorpio do? Did you guys broken? They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Please be patient. Exhausted. Yeah, they need to release this baggage before they try to have, like I said, they need to get their life together. They need to become more stable. Hmm, let's see. What else? What else? Let's just do four of these, Spirit. Let's do four. Okay, that one flew out already. Sur see, surface level bond. Yeah. What about the surface level bond? Love gates are opening. See? Something that was surface level is ascending to something much deeper. Manifesting love. Love is coming soon. Or like, I don't know. Tell me, what does this mean for this connection? Not yet certain. Unsure of desires, confusions. Okay. So how are we getting to the point where this is, a, this is moving to something more than a surface level bond? Knows your worth. It's you. It's you knowing your worth and doing what? Because it says treating you right values you hot and cold. Yeah. Because this, you're, yeah, this unstable connection, what are they doing about it? Bad habits. Yeah. Repetitive bad patterns, no change. So what is my Scorpio Collective doing about that? You're going to choose to, you're going to start giving this person the cold shoulder. Ah, that's what's making them want to fight for you. So is this person one of those people that wants what they can't have or they like the chase? I hope that's not all it is. But it's just something about like when you start knowing your worth, and you get sick of this hot and cold behavior, this uh, them sending you mixed signals, this this unstable connection, and you start choosing to give this person the cold shoulder and ignore them. Like I feel like this person may end up getting ignored because I see them wanting to come in and make peace with you. I see them returning, but you see the situation and for them for who they are now. So and you don't believe anything that they say. So you're going to give them the cold shoulder. You're, you're you're recognizing that there's a repetitive pattern between you and this person, right? And um. They just keep coming back to you, not have, well, you know, not changed. So I feel like you guys are going to choose to ignore this person um, if they reach out to you or something like that. Yeah. And they're going to be really, yeah. What about suffering in silence? Even though you guys are sad over this. Yeah. When you least expect it, what third, oh, here we go with this. What about third party involved, devoted to you? If there was a third party, they're about to like, some of you guys think, what is, okay, what is third party have devoted to you? Hard to open up. What's up with third party? Past life karma. Okay, so they may have had a karmic or something like that that they're done with. Or what does third party mean for Scorpio? Fleeting. It was maybe a th fleeting romance, something that was not meant to last. It's beyond repair. So whoever had the third party, that was not something that was sustained. Like, it was never going to go anywhere. It was just a fleeting romance. It was maybe a transitional relationship whatever. Some of you guys maybe are aware that this person has somebody else. They like wanted, they, if this person settled, they could have walked away from you to settle for somebody that they didn't have to open up to you. That was okay with the surface level bond. Okay. With maybe something that was strictly sexual or something like that. But it's like, once you start, but it's at, at the same time, I still, so why are they coming back towards you to apologize? Because you guys, I knew this cart was going to come out because there's a twin flame connection here and you guys are energetically connected. So it's like, they're always going to come back to you. Yeah, genuine apology, making it official, single and available. I don't know. So you guys are you guys are gonna choose to like maybe like you don't trust this person now. See, that's why they're gonna have to fight for you and compete for you because they may be coming in and being genuine now, but because of everything that they did, you don't believe this person now. You know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like you guys are gonna end up like rejecting this person or choosing yourselves. I'm gonna be honest. But I just feel like they did maybe choose something that was like very fleeting. Like it was maybe something that only lasted a little bit. Like they, they, they chose something over you that wasn't going to last or didn't last. Like just was very brief or something like that. But it, they maybe, or 
if it wasn't something, I mean, if it was somebody that they had been dealing with or like they knew from before, it was like, they weren't meant to be with that person long term. Give me more clarity on fleeting romance. Second chances. What is fleeting romance and second chances? There's someone better. What's this mean for this person? Worth waiting for. What about fleeting romance? So soulmate bond. Feeling abandoned. Yeah, they could have got ghosted by this person. I don't know. There's some type of fleeting romance here. I just see that you're going to ignore this person. I mean, all that third party crap really don't matter. We see that there's possibly was a third party or there was something interfering on this connection. It doesn't really matter what the, the exact circumstances were. Um, and I feel like you're going to end up ignoring this person or you're going to reject them. Okay. So, but I just, I don't think that they're going to leave you alone. I'm going to be honest with you. You guys may reject this person, but it's almost going to make them more determined to try to like get you back, like to get their shit together. It's like, yeah, it's like, you just feel like you have to stop. You just, there's a lack of trust there now. Yeah. Divine love. But yeah, there's something faded about your connection with this person. You signed up to do the journey together before you were born. Nothing will go wrong. Yep. This person did try to replace you. And all those people that they were dealing with were just like nothing. Like they were just like fleeting romances, temporary, nothing, nothing significant. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Transitional love is not meant to last. So but the, it, all it did was make them realize that that you were the one that they wanted to be with. Yeah, like you, it just made them realize that maybe this person needed to, to experience this. Irreplaceable. No one compares to you. They can't fight it anymore. Their heart keeps coming back to you. I feel like if you guys do, like you may entertain this person, but you're going to be very like guarded and closed off with them. And you're going to be very slow to let them back into your life. But they're really going to have to prove themselves to you. But this person's ego is huge, and that's a big reason why things have not been working out between the two of you. It may be like a year to two years before you and this person could actually have something like real, like a real relationship because how big this person's ego is and how to, out of touch they are. But we have, yeah, breaking rules. Being with you will cause controversy, but they're ready to break social norms to be with you. So maybe there's somebody that, mm, maybe you guys have cultural differences, or um, maybe they know that there's maybe some people that don't want to see you together. What is breaking rules? That could have been the third party hidden plans. They're choosing not to reveal everything to you. Proceed with caution. Don't ignore the red flags. What are they? They're not telling you something about somebody that some type of controversy that will be the result of the two of you being together. Tell me more. Yeah, not the right time and uncertainty. I don't know this controversy. Maturity. Yeah, this is it's just taking them a really long time to grow up, but I don't really know what this breaking rules energy is. Detox period. They need to get their life together. Like they need to remove some people. They need to set some boundaries. I do see you and this person going through a period of no contact. All right. Um, let me see. I want to know. What is this controversy aspect, Spirit? What is that? Being with you will cause, okay, the devil's domain. Mm, obsession, addictions, and poor habits, codependency. What does that have to do with breaking rules? Unhealthy. This person is, yeah, bad eating habits. Focus on your health. Careful who and what you let in. Ooh, this person may not be. Yeah, you guys may want really want to. What does that have to do with breaking rules? Creativity. Strong urge to express yourself. Okay. Planetary vibes, planetary influences, celestial realms, connections with the cosmos. So all these retrogrades and shit that we're in right now has something to do with this possibly. But I don't know, like being with you will cause controversy. Follow the signs. Why is this going to cause controversy? This person knows that this, this bond's not going anywhere. Forever yours, unbreakable bond, strong and stable relationship, a love that will last a lifetime. So it does have the potential to reach that, but I don't know. Spirit's not telling me why this is, oh. We have soul family here. Um, for some of you, they they there's somebody that needs or is in the process or it needs to get a divorce or something like that. Why is this going to cause controversy? Un what's this called? Unfoldment, spiritual breaking free and blooming. Maybe they're gonna have to break free from something to be with you. Maybe not so much breaking rules, but they're gonna have to be able to like for them to ascend and to level up in life. 
they're going to have to maybe break free from something and it's going to like, they know that it's going to, yeah, outside influences, listening to other people's opinions. So there's some people that have some opinions on their life, how they should be living their life or who they should be with or on you. And that's been affecting things. And they may need to like, kind of like break free from these people. Yeah. They like kind of like bottle things up. So they don't want to ruffle these people's feathers. Like they kind of pin, pin a lot of things up. Yeah, fanned out, available, no limits or restrictions, willingness to be vulnerable. What's this hot? Tell me about these outside influences taking action, willingness to do the work. They're going to take control of the situation when it comes to these outside influences. All right, that's too many. They're going to take control of the situation when it comes to the outside influences. Deep, read between the lines, be wise and pay attention. They're going to see the truth about these outside influences and what that they maybe were. Somebody maybe betrayed them, their trust. Ooh, there's anger and resentment there. They feel wronged by these people. Why? The young, oh, you know what? This person, ooh, they were being manipulated. Bad, they, they, they're going to realize that these people are bad influences. Scheming and controlling, manipulation, bad influences. Ooh, trouble lurking. Wow, red flags, bad intentions, lies and deception. The, the, that's what was keeping this person in decision and keeping them from being able to see that you guys were a perfect match. They've been deeply missing you. Yeah, they're look at this proud rebel, rule breaker, nonconformist, non-traditional relationship. They're about to break out of whatever this is. But what I was gonna say with they have this is like inner child wounds. Like this could be their mom or their dad or somebody in their family. They have anger and resi resentment or something from like their parents. Like they, it's something to do with their inner child wounds in regards to like their mom wounds or their father wounds or something to do with that. It's, it's their family. It's like their mom and their dad. Like they have a controlling parent or something like that. I don't know, but let's see um, what's going to happen going forward and when spirit. So they've been being deceived or controlled or manipulated by a parent. For what reasons? Let's. I want to ask that. What? What's? Why is this person? Why is this? Why is this here? Hold on, guys. What is? Why is? What is this? Um, this parents or whatever, whoever this is, this family member, outside influences, um, and in, uh, motive. That's what I'm trying to say. What? Is, what is this person's motive? What is this person's motive? What is their mom or dad or whoever the, what are they, what are their intentions? Yeah. Ancestral karma. Someone you have a pet. Tell me about that. Lone wolf, happy, single, choosing to stay single. What does that have to do with this person's like, whoever is being a bad influence on them, whoever's being a bad influence on them. Sure. And offer a look. It's something about old fashioned values. It's something to do with like the way that they were raised. I don't know. Like they think, yeah, old fashioned values. Mm, yeah, unrealistic high standards. Never satisfied, hard to please, high maintenance. They've been maybe trying to like make their mom or dad happy. This person's feeling, they feel like they're never good enough for their, this parent, or this parent's never happy with them, or it's just nothing's ever enough. Yeah, carrying old baggage, responsibilities. Mm hmm. Clinging to an unhealthy relationship. Yep. Maybe they felt they have abandonment issues that stem from their parents or something like that. Yeah. They need to let go of the old. It says, let go of the old. What goes around comes around. Honor the cycle you are in. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that one to go. Okay. Cancer season. Well, we just got out of cancer season. We're in Leo season now. Take the reins of your life. Compassion, nurture, moody. Make decisions with your heart. We have not the right time. Later than you think. Overcoming the trap of the ego. Pride, strength, authority, courage. Get, stop getting in your own way. A wish will be granted. Finalize and tie up any loose ends. What specifically, what does this mean for Scorpio? When can they, yeah, ship has sailed. 
and then another chance. What? I feel like somebody does not want to miss on an opportunity with you. So they're going to want another chance. When is this happening? But they're coming in to waste your time. They're maybe trying to get there. They don't want the ship of you to sail past them. So they're maybe going to try to restart things with you. Yeah, but they just still. Spirit says, don't rush into anything with this person. You, may, I feel like some of you guys may entertain them, but not rush into anything with them. Nothing will come of it. Not serious. Wrong things. Don't ignore the red flags. Yeah, they're going to probably return sometime this summer, but it says any day now. Any day now, what? August. Yeah. What does this have to do with um, Scorpio? I don't know. They feel like you are a good person to have in their life. Like they feel like you're a positive. You're, you're different than these toxic people that they're used to. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to pursue what you love. They're going to pursue you because they love you. It's in the works. In just a few weeks. Oh. Okay, now we have end <laughs> What? Be gentle with yourself and enjoy every step you take so you may observe the little things that easily go unnoticed. What's up with in just a few weeks? In a few months. Okay, that's two conflicting things. Yeah, Leo season. Change will be forced upon. Yeah, choose a new direction. Someone's going to be forced to like choose a new direction. There is something better out there for you. Make conscious choices to step into your true path. Yeah, I feel like you, and what does this mean for Scorpio? Mm, what does this mean for Scorpio? Next month, yeah. You will break free. You're breaking, you're, you're breaking a cycle next month, pretty much. Like, I think it's going to maybe happen by the end of Leo season. Maybe it already did happen, or it could be happening within the next couple of months. But you're going to be breaking this cycle between you and this person. And then what? Yeah, worth waiting for. Don't try to rush the process. Some things need time to grow. When the time is right, it will happen. It, yeah, we do have January here. So yeah, it, it's, it may, something may change in Capricorn season. Hold on, hold on. What is this January Capricorn season? Mm, what about three months from now? See, I don't know, guys. Within the next three months, this person is still not going to be good for you. When you least expect it. When you least expect it, what? What about three months from now and bad forces blocking time in the spring? I don't know, y'all. Faster than you think. There's so many compl I just I'm reading for thousands of people, so it's just never clear. I don't know. <laughs> just know that you have wish fulfillment coming in. Any guidance on how they need to handle like or the upcoming situation, how they need to handle it. Well, cool. yeah, they're telling you to avoid this person. The path is shut. Stop blocked over avoid. So what does that mean for the future of this connection? What's the future of this connection looking like? See, Leo season's coming out again. It's forcing some type of change here. When you block this person or you avoid them or something like that, there's something that you, you stop this cycle. Then it says change will be forced upon ambitious, decisive, stubborn, trust in your leadership style. You're taking the lead. And then it says special date will be a meaningful event. Birthday, important reconciliation. Timing is of great importance. One card to, to clarify that. Yeah. Very last minute decision. A choice will be made. Taking a risk, gamble, roll with it. Taking a leap of faith into the unknown. Mm, I want one more. Clarify very last minute and special date. Yeah, this year. So somebody's going to be making some type of very last minute decision by the end of this year to take a leap of faith. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I literally hate having to pull so many of these, but it's like I want to pull just one more. But one more for this year. Yeah, you're going to just, it says, when you let go, what's for you will come. Clinging, control, resistance, let go of what's holding you back. Believe that you can have what you desire so your experiences match that energy. I don't know. It says, the time has come to let go of a situation. Allow your angels to show you the way. Bide your time. Yeah. You already know. What do they already know? You have blessings coming in. A new beginning. Um, that Those two cards were stuck together. What's this mean? In July. What you are asking about may require to take a leap of faith. This is the time to trust. I don't know, y'all, but... Things are just... I see things being blocked or stagnant right now, but that could maybe change. I don't know. 
Per yeah, perfect timing. New doors are opening. You guys could have a new person coming in. But I see this person trying to like compete for you and rush towards you. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Take it how it resonates, leave the rest. <laughs> um Angel guidance. Guidance from your angels. Heart's messages. See, expect to receive a message that will make your heart full. Let your heart be your guiding key. Divine gifts. There are talents and spiritual gifts you have been given but not using. Put yourself to good use. What's this have to do with this message though? Are you receiving? Master your fears. Uncover the hidden fears that are ingrained in you, holding you back from living your most authentic life. Divine assistance. Accept the help that your angels are sending you to assist you in your endeavors. You don't have to fight this battle alone. Good luck. Your angels are sending you a lucky break. You're about to step into one of the most prosperous and abundant chapters of your life. Yeah, they're telling you to sit this out. It's almost like they're telling you to like, let this person go, ignore them, avoid them, and let them handle the situation. It says something is not quite right. Wait a little longer before taking action. Timing is off or it could be the wrong decision. They're maybe saying like, just like avoid this person and see, kind of observe them, if that makes sense. Like, don't give them too much. Like, kind of like just answer them. Don't feel rushed to like, to go back into something with them just observe how they what they say to you and how they approach you and stuff like that okay um but do not yeah compromise is needed in order to have a positive outcome for this situation it is necessary to compromise create a win-win solution yeah this person's not willing to compromise with you that's a big red flag good news the wait is nearly over expect to receive news on an important important issue that will have a positive outcome see we have distant future if you can't immediately see the evidence of your desires manifesting, remember that other people's free will choice are involved. Yeah. So like you can't force this person to do right by you or to make better decisions or to see that somebody's a snake around them or whatever to heal. You can't date. That's things that they have to do for themselves. So yeah. It's like they want you to know that your desires are manifesting, but like that you, they, that you, the person you're dealing with also has free will. But it says let yourself receive. So. When you step into the space of receiving, it allows you to be open to unexpected sources that add joy to your life. So they want you to be in a receptive energy, not like a, um, what's the other, I don't know. They want you to be in a recept receptive energy, okay? So I made this reading so long, oh my gosh, 40 minutes. Strategy, plan, scheme, and strategize your future and take the right, the next right action for your life. Yeah, temptation. What is tempting you at this moment may not be a wise choice. You may be tempted. This person's coming in expressing some type of emotion. Um, Sag's reading was just like this. So some of you guys are dealing with a Sag or you guys can be cuspers or something like that. But it's like this person's coming in like, like expressing something to you. But it still not be what might not be wise for you to just jump back into this with this person or even like give them too much energy of your energy right now. Yeah, we have no second chances, no revisiting. There's something better waiting. So maybe this is just a done deal. Yeah, yeah, this could be just a done deal between you and this person. It says listen to your inner wolf and embrace your sacred wild nature that thirsts for freedom. So they're like, you need to seem to be alone right now. What is happening on the surface is not what you'll see if you dive deeper. Yeah, it's like there's more to this. I don't know. What's time's up mean for this connection? Yeah, explosive situations. The destruction will allow new growth to emerge to shape a new future. So this this has to destruct or if I'm... What's, so what is this future of this? Shooting star. What you've asked is coming true. Your wish is about to manifest. Blessed ideas. Allow your ideas to come to fruition and they will bring many blessings. It's like something is done. A cycle is done and over with. I don't know. but And it may turn into like some type of explosive situation. But it's like so that there can be like a, a better like future for you. I don't know if you and this person, I don't know. I'm, it's very mixed right now. I don't know if this is the person you're going to be with. You may end up having a brand new person coming in, but um, let me see. And then we'll be done after this. <laughs> but if, if this is your twin, I don't know, y'all. This person needs to learn to choose themselves. So when you start choosing yourself, 
maybe they, you know, twins mirror each other. So maybe they will also start like, you know, choosing themselves and doing what's best for their highest good. Cause they definitely have some people around them that are not good for them. So, you know, they need to learn lessons in that. But let's see, what's the future? See, yeah, they're telling you to build a new. I feel like they're telling you to leave this behind. Autumn, let go of steam. What's the thing for this past person? They're just telling you to, you deserve better. It says everything will come together in the fall. Expect change, balance, and reconnecting with loved ones during this time. Let off. They're telling you, be, don't be afraid to tell this person how you really feel either. Don't hold that anger and whatever else in. Wealth, new financial opportunities will help you achieve long-term success. So you have money coming in. Lessons, yeah. Answers. You're going to get clarity and answers about this past person. Wait. Yeah, it's like almost like it's like a, a not right now, but maybe a later thing. I don't know. It's like something. Some, it's like when you ignore that like something is coming to a final end between you and this person. It could be just like a cycle in your relationship because I keep getting this energy that you like this person's going to fight for you. Like you guys may end up reconnecting with them in the fall time or they'll, they'll be back at some point. And spirit is saying, don't feel rushed. Like I was just saying to make a decision right now, spend time alone, meditating upon what truly makes you happy. Put yourself at the forefront, right? And just kind of observe. Yeah. Fears back on track. Yeah. Passion, heart calling, happiness, authenticity. What's this mean for this past person? Support. Abundance. It's like this person may end up getting their money together or there's somebody coming towards you that has like their money together or it's this person that's coming back towards you like more stable and they want to come in and support you. Clinging. I don't know, y'all. Summer dreams collaborate blooming i don't know guys they may i don't know i see like maybe they may come towards you by the end of the summer and you guys are are advised to protect yourselves and then i see something else happening in the fall time um let's see what's going to be ultimately like the outcome of this by you know based off of the current energy if Scorpio does what I'm seeing in the reading. What will be the outcome of this connection with this past person? Oh, no, you guys, I feel like you have new love coming in. Yeah, it says cut cords with old flames and clear the way for new love. So what this, I don't know, guys, when I tell you I'm confused because we have, I don't know. You may end up having like a choice. You may end up having a choice. Yeah, you deserve better. Maybe this is them. Wow. Is this them? What does this mean for Scorpio? Rebirth. They're going to end up choosing you. What's new love mean for this connection? What's new love mean for this connection? All is well. And friend. yeah, it's like you guys may come in and like take things very slow or something like that. There, they, There's a karmic in the mix. Somebody needed to cut cords with an old flame, whether that was you. And they may be doing that here by the end of summer. They're cutting cords with an old flame. Somebody, either you are or they are. And what does that mean for this connection? Ego death. The journey wasn't easy. They're fully aware of their mistakes and want to make things right. And then we also had, what was it? Choice made. After much thought, they decided to be with you instead of their other option. Yeah, it's just not, it's not the right time. Yeah, maturity. They want you to know they truly changed and you inspired them to become a better person. Yeah, there is there will be an opportunity for a new beginning. That's why it's confusing. I see something coming to a permanent ending, but I was like, is it with is it and it's like they may try to rush towards you right after things end with this person, but that won't work out. They need to take some time to yeah, they're going to be back, guys. They may need to, like, still get their life together. Like, they may have left that other situation behind. But don't rush into anything with this person because they just, they need to take some time to heal and get their life together. Like, I don't know. That's what I'm getting from this. They're going to maybe cut some, walk away from something here. And I feel like there will be an opportunity. Yeah. 
It's like you're letting go of what this person stuck because they're not letting go of something that's holding them back. And because they're not letting go of something that's holding them back and they're trying to have something with you, it's holding you back. So you're, you're releasing them because they're holding you back. And then it's forcing this person to have to let go of what's holding them back. I hope that that makes sense. What I'm saying, that's what I'm getting from this. It's, this is kind of a confusing reading. Hold on. Let me see here. I did not expect this reading to be 45 minutes. What do you guys have to say about all that? I'm yapping about. See, it's something to do with their family guys. Ancestral karma. They are clearing neg negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through generations don't rush the journey. And what's that mean for this connection going forward? Watching you. They've been watching your social media, see what you post and get clues to know how to approach you. Yeah, they're they're leaving something behind in regards to like the way that they were raised, childhood trauma, uh, a family members, toxic family members. They, they may have thought like, what I'm getting is that this is the kind of person that like, they maybe had toxic family, but they were raised like, it doesn't matter, their family. Blood is thicker than water. Guys, blood is no, 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 no. Blood is not always thicker than water. If they are literally like, if they are toxic, they are toxic. It doesn't matter if they're family or not. And I feel like this person has been raised to think that you can't cut family off. They're family. It doesn't matter if they're they're ruining my life. They're family and I have to keep them around. I can't let them go. I can't remove them from my life, right? Even though this person, this whoever this person was, was like, they they knew this person was bad for them or something like that. So I see them keeping tabs on you and watch, seeing how, like figuring out how they can approach you. The divine is assisting says so they are experiencing many tower moments. Yeah. They're like, they're going to be like, yeah. Whereas help them gain clarity on this connection. And what are they going to do with that clarity that they're gaining on this connection? Wow. Guys breaking free. They're freeing themselves from their self. They're freeing themselves from their self imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's like they kept betraying you for who, whatever this was. They kept being like fickle and wishy-washy, wishy-washy. So that's why Spirit is saying there was a need for you to let them go because there was nothing you could do to change the situation. It's like they're losing their old identity and they daydream about a future with you. But whoever this was had a big hold over your person. But it says they don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. Yeah. All right, y'all. Wow, that took me forever and a lifetime to decipher. But I hope that this resonated with you. Thank you so much um, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. Or guys, they're closed. Oh my gosh, that's just force of habit. They are now closed. Keep that in mind. And um, don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.